Hi there, this is VeggieTales creator Phil Vischer. I wanted to give you a peek at my new project, What's in the Bible with Buck Denver. This is a Bible. It is the most widely owned, least widely read book in history. It sits on more shelves, gathering more dust than any book in the world. And yet this book holds the keys to understanding our lives. Now, when I started working on Veggie Tales, I discovered it was a really great way to, to retell key Bible stories and teach key Christian values, uh, but it wasn't such a good way to explain the entire Bible. How do all these stories fit together to tell just one story? Who wrote this book? How did we get it? And why do we think we can trust it? And most importantly, what difference does it make in my life? So that's what we're doing in our new project. We have a crisis with kids in the church today. 65% of kids are dropping out of church as soon as they graduate from high school. We need to do something about this. So we're going to walk kids through the Bible all the way from Genesis to Revelation and answer their big questions about who wrote it and where it came from and why we can trust it and what difference does it make. This is the most important project I think I could be involved in right now, and I can't wait to show it to you. Welcome to What's in the Bible with Buck Denver. Genesis begins it all. I took a bus from Texas just to sing a song about Exodus. Boaz and Ruth have a son named Obed, who has a son named Jesse, who is the father of King David. And from King David's family comes Jesus. God gave Adam and Eve a choice. Trust him or trust the voices they heard around him. They chose poorly. By turning away from God, they said they didn't believe him. They were going to go their own way. And sin entered the world. What sin? Pastor Paul, what is a patriarch? Who picked the books to be in the Bible? Wait a minute. Why do different Bibles have different numbers of books? Oh, I see we have lots of questions today. Oh, there were gnats and frogs and the river turned to blood and there were flies and boils and the cows fell with the thud. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, look what God can do. Hallelujah, His promises come true. The evidence in miracles says God can work a miracle. So, hallelujah, look what God can do. Now Isaac lived by faith, just as his father had before him. He got married and had a son named Jacob. Jacob trusted God too, and God gave him a whole mess of sons. His favorite was Joseph. Oh, I know about Joseph. He's the one with a fancy coat. Buck Denver! Welcome to What's in the Bible with Buck Denver. And friends? And friends.